I'm star. I'm, let's start. Let's start. I'm starved. <laughs> <laughs> I'm starved. We had a bagel on the, the, we'll the sidewalk bagel, yeah. today. Yeah. Welcome to our casa. And today we're going to be making mozzarella alla pizzaiola. pizzaiola. Kate's favorite. Child childhood favorite. <laughs> childhood favorite of yours. Childhood favorite. Very quick. Delicious, delicious dish. May I even say it's like a pizza without the dough? Oh yeah, a pizza. pizza, a pizza dip. A pizza dip, yeah. We didn't have too much time to concentrate and invent a, a long, elaborate recipe. Uh huh. Because at our restaurant, we have basically almost finished the outside dining. Outside is finished. You can so see how beautiful. Nice. It's gonna be so lovely, and we also bought off all of our plants. We finished the landscape of the planter. We have such plant babies the, now. In the middle of the dining room, which he, we makes us very happy. And uh, we have our prep room all set and ready to go. Clean, nice, shiny, beautiful prep room. And what else? Oh, yeah, and the tables. Our beautiful tables that our designer and everyone are making from scratch. They are gorgeous and I'm so excited. Black forest wood. Yes. We love it. And the uh, ingredients. Ingredients are as follows. We have buffalo mozzarella from the region of Campania, given to us by Viviana and Angelo from Caseificio delle Rose. They are our uh, supplier of buffalo and the burrata at the restaurant. We love them the and best. we love their products. So we're using the best of the best here, guys. Mm -hmm. uh, we also are going to use some garlic and some tomatoes. So I'm going to do a little bit of a combo here. I have some chopped tomatoes, which are a little bit more chunkier. And then I also have my strained tomato, which is just like your basic tomato sauce. Um, we're also, of course, have our baguette for later to dip and some nice oregano, dried oregano leaves there from Calabria. So we're very southern today. Yeah. There's no pizzaiola without oregano. Okay. okay, let's start. All right, I'm gonna use my cast iron skillet here. It's about a 12 inch size. That's gonna be perfect. I'm gonna start with adding in some olive oil. Good amount of olive oil there to coat the bottom. For our garlic, we're gonna add three cloves and we're gonna go old school. We're just gonna drop it in like that because we want it to have a mild garlic flavor. We don't want it to be over overpowering. So we're just gonna let that garlic and oil have a little sofrito fun together and get that oil nicely infused with that flavor of the garlic. All right, once that garlic starts sizzling and you're really smelling the garlic aroma, we're gonna start to add our tomatoes. But be careful, it does like to jump out. We'll start to bubble up. Just gonna lower that heat. We have our strained tomato in. Let's add our chopped tomato. Wonderful. I'm just gonna raise that heat up a little bit. Once that's heating up, I'm gonna add some seasoning, some sea salt, and some fresh cracked black pepper. Now it's time to add this beautiful dried oregano. I'm gonna show you a fun little technique here. Basically we're just going to hold that oregano upside down. Take it in both of your hands and using a little swooshing action. Going, look at that. Now of course you can use oregano out of a jar, but this is a lot more fun. <laughs> this is Italy. All right, yes. You wanna add a good amount of oregano in there and we are gonna add some later as well. Give that a little mix. Mmm, buona perfumo. All that oregano is added, uh, we're going to keep it reducing at a low flame and while 
That's reducing, let's prep our buffalo mozzarella. I said prepping, but there isn't much prepping to do with this mozzarella di bufala. Uh, it is, however, very watery and milky inside, so I'm just going to start by putting the little mozzarella bufala onto some paper towels, and I'm going to cut that in half. Look at that, so beautiful. Beautiful. All right, once they are all cut in half, I'm just gonna take another thick layer of paper towels and gently press it just so I get a little bit of that extra liquid out. Otherwise, it'll just be super soupy in that tomato sauce. Little beauties. Put them back in a dry dish. While we wait for our sauce to reduce, it should take about 30 minutes or so. I think we can crack ourselves open a nice bottle of wine. Treat ourselves. You wanna thank somebody for this beauty? Ah, yes, I would like to thank my, my beautiful friends at, at Natria Wines. We have Mr. Fazzone, and we have Mr. Gabe, and we have Mr. Emiliano to thank for this. Am I missing someone? I always miss someone. No. Great. Me. I mean, I'm sure there's more no, workers at an Andrea. <laughs> so Brunello. Mmm, Brunello di Montalcino. This is a very special wine and we've been saving it for something special and you know yeah, what? Yeah, the first week seeing our restaurant almost completed. Yeah, we'll, we'll open this now. <laughs> Time to add these little cuties. Now, we're just gonna drop in our mozzarella. We're gonna do cut side up. Boop. On top, we're gonna crack some black pepper. And go back with that beautiful oregano. Right on top. Move it around this time so you're getting it all over. DJ Manuti, 10 minutes. Very happy about this dish. Oh, me too. It already smells, it smells super good. Looks good. <laughs> what more do you want? You. You're welcome. All right, let's see. Super hot. Maybe plate. Ah, now someone wants to use my plate idea. Mm-hmm. Straight, just a little, just a little tomato oregano dip first. Mmm. <laughs> it's hot. Mmm, it's so good. It's delicious. Oh my gosh. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. What a magnificent dish. Ciao. <laughs> Let's just devour this whole thing. Yeah. You're such a beautiful sauce. Mm. 